We know we can make it. It's trying to figure out how to make it the best way. There's nothing that can't be overcome in the design. This rocket is going to fly. Only a century ago, we learned to fly. Walking on the moon seemed an impossible dream. Once you get to low Earth orbit, you're halfway to anywhere in the solar system. Establish a firm foothold in space, and the sky is not the limit. Space pioneers today are private entrepreneurs who will transform how satellites are placed and serviced in low Earth orbit. Their goal, affordable and reliable access to space for all. Being a part of making it actually happen, uh, I'm not sure what that's going to feel like. It's going to be good. Their taxi to space is a small, low-cost, fully reusable launch vehicle, the Roton. Cheap access to space is not only possible, but it's relatively easy to do within today's technology, and we don't need new development to do it. Rotary Rocket CEO Gary Hudson was instrumental in establishing the DCX program and is widely known as an innovator of low-cost commercial space launch systems. The DCX landed under rocket thrust, which is a relatively dangerous maneuver, whereas the Roton lands like any conventional helicopter. For many years, I was a voice crying in the wilderness, promoting the idea of commercial reusable space transportation, and was considered very avant-garde. Today, there are numerous competitors working on some form of either reusable or partly reusable system. Bevan McKinney is a pioneer in developing advanced hybrid rocket propulsion technology, including the world's largest hybrid motor. The last motor we built at American Rocket was a quarter million pound thrust motor. It's the largest hybrid motor ever built. Finally, I think we're beginning to see the sort of explosion into space which I had hoped to see directly following Apollo. Dr. Philip Chapman is a former NASA astronaut and mission scientist for Apollo 14. I would have thought that I would be working on this technology sometime around 1965. <laughs> and it's taken a long time and I've got mold. <laughs> the integrating contractor for Roton is Scaled Composites, a company who routinely takes aircraft from concept to flight in less than a year and at a fraction of the cost of competitors. Legendary aircraft designer and visionary Bert Rutan leads the next generation of aerospace technology. Gary Hudson came to us a long time ago with the Phoenix Project, a single stage to orbit vehicle. And we found that he thinks very much the way we do in terms of his approach at simplicity, in his term, and his belief that things can be done at much lower cost. NASA has been very clear that they support what we are doing and, and what is going on right now in the commercial space industry. NASA has uh, been both supportive of our efforts and our competitors' efforts because launch costs dominate the NASA budget at this time. NASA alone has a budget of over five billion dollars for launch services and NASA is nothing compared to the commercial industry. Demand is exploding for transglobal communications and tracking networks, mobile telephony, cable and direct TV transmission, earth imaging, and global positioning services. Thousands more satellites will be needed to support an unimaginable volume of essential daily traffic around the globe. The marketplace is changing completely. Instead of launching one satellite at a time, what we're doing is launching constellations of satellites. For us, of course, this is good news. The more satellites there are, the more demand for our services. Well, there's a lot of companies right now who want to launch satellites and they have to wait. Gold is worth about $4,000 a pound, so it's, it's worth its weight in gold right now to get into, into space. This is a market which is not going to die. This is an insatiable market and it will grow. Industry analysts support the Roton as the technology choice for the emerging reusable launch industry. The design of rocket engines is now being driven by a new criteria, and that new criteria is much more economic and business driven rather than the military purposes of the past. And the Roton is one of the first new rocket designs which is meeting these new, new needs and these new drives for the design of rocket engines. 
each of the systems and each of the things that they're doing, they are using existing technologies. It's just being put together in a way which has never been done before. In my opinion, companies such as Rotary Rocket have the potential to fundamentally change the economics of the space launch business. A key advantage for Rotary Rocket in getting both customers and investors is the fact that they already have a major company on board, Barclays. The existing aerospace industry, the Boeings and the Lockheeds and so on, are actually courting companies like ourselves, offering technology, services, and partnerships. The Roton design is inherently the lowest possible operating cost for any space transportation vehicle. Nothing whatsoever is thrown away. All the vehicle does is burn fuel. We were not allowed some of the luxuries of, of frivolous expense that the uh, government has used in the past in order to put things in orbit. To compare it with the, the, the shuttle, the shuttle has an army of 30,000 people who are permanently employed on fixing the shuttle between flights. The Roton will have an army of maybe 12 people. Marty Zarogo Klein, I'm the Roton Chief Engineer. Just like an X-15 was flown by a pilot at very high speed, the Roton can be flown at high speed. So in the event of a control system failure, an INS failure like that, which happened to the Ariane 5, which was a billion dollar loss for that program, those sorts of failure modes are not a concern to the Roton. Even if the engine fails, we can still land. We can land in a parking lot, we can land in the desert, and we don't hurt anybody. The advantage of using a rotor to land is that it is a far more elegant solution than rockets or wings or anything else that you might try to use. A rotor combines the functions of stabilizing the vehicle during hypersonic re-entry, slowing the vehicle down in a very slow controlled fashion once we come subsonic, uh, providing a glide range, and then giving a soft pinpoint landing to a precise spot. Once the Roton begins operation, either we're using it or other customers are using the vehicle. They have a lot of flexibility in both where they take off from and where they land. A lot of satellite failures really are simple problems, and most of the bird is salvageable, but you can't get it. We can get it. A pilot could go up in the Roton and pull out the existing electronics and put in new electronics every couple of years. This would ensure that the satellite was always up to date. In order to do single stage in orbit, you have to be low weight. Composite materials allow us to build structures that are lighter, and stiffer than working with metals. What Scale Composites brings to the Rotary Rocket team is, is an experienced, uh, already assembled team. Burt Rutan and Scale Composites are really the dream team that you want to have on a project like this. We have developed uh, 27 manned airplanes here at Scale Composites, and we have not had an accident. Burt is among the most innovative aeronautical engineers in the world, and maybe the most innovative one alive today. I had 10 years of working with Burt Rutan. I watched Burt come in, boom, 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 on the numbers so many times that I realized that a good person can design something and it turns out the way they expected it to. And I figured this rocket was in the same category. An auto-rotative landing is something that every helicopter uses, so the basic idea is not, is not uh, unique or high risk. Commercial routine travel to space will transform our lives in ways we cannot imagine today. It will completely change the entire marketplace because now you'll be able to go up and you'll be able to come back. Routine access to space is going to dramatically change the way we do business in space. When the manufacturers realize that we can put our hands on the satellite, we can assemble them on orbit, we can take two launches to put two pieces of a bigger satellite together and then launch it into a higher orbit, after they realize that we really have that ability, they'll start redesigning their satellites and we will revolutionize the industry. We want to drive this industry as far and as fast as possible. And the way to do that is through low cost. Price opens up a lot of new markets. Those might include manufacturing on orbit, research and development on orbit. Fabrication and deployment of satellite solar power stations, even larger communication platforms. And one Japanese company is uh, even promoting the idea of a space hotel. Whether these are fanciful or real, we can't say at this time. But without low-cost access to space, none of them will ever happen. Over 150 of the industry's finest aerospace engineers are working to make the Roton a reality. In fact, you have a very experienced rocket engine development team at Rotary 
which gives us uh, added confidence. We have a very entrepreneurial and very dynamic workforce. We hire people, we approach customers, we approach the technology, all the way that a Silicon Valley company traditionally does. But we're not trying to go out and invent things where there's no reason to invent it. Money is to be made and uh, we're providing that service. We are going to be the Volkswagen of uh, rocket ships. One of the things that is a real advantage to us is our workforce. We have fantastic people inside the company who are really able to, to put out their best. Now, I am a test pilot by training and I, I look forward uh, enormously to uh, flight testing the Roton. My job is to make the tip rockets that are going to let the Roton spaceship land safely. I feel like I have the perfect job. It's the kind of thing that I uh, dreamed of being able to do as a, as a hobby if I ever became rich. It's kind of a good combination of being professional and renegade at the same time. Engineering problems can be solved by engineers, but engineering problems don't even get addressed unless management and investors have the will to try. All of the people working on Rotary have a clear vision, opening the space frontier to mankind. I don't think there's anybody in the company, Harley, that doesn't want to go to space. At the threshold of a new frontier, these bold aerospace entrepreneurs are engineering low-cost access to space. Driven by vision and genius, Rotary Rocket will deliver to market the Roton, the industry's only single-stage, fully reusable, piloted launch vehicle.